Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna make a planter. So I'm gonna make this planter a little fatter and wider than the mug video that you'll see. So I've chosen this to use as my mold. Um, it's a bit wider. It's not a narrow cup shape because I think the plants will like that. So we're gonna use this as the mold and we're gonna roll out a slab of clay. And remember, pick it up and turn it because this is a bit fatter. I want to make sure to make this a little bit longer. All right. I think I've got that long enough. Good thickness. Could give it one more little roll in the middle there. Now, I'm gonna do, I think, my little um, tree stamps around. Not tree stamps, but my little leaf stamps. I'm gonna do one, two, and three. You wanna put all of your leaves or all of your things down at once so you can just do one roll with the rolling pin. Let's go back and forth over them a little bit. And then use your toothpick to pull them up so you're not digging out at the clay. A little pick down at the bottom and pull them up. I want to make sure for thicker things like branches, you're not pushing so hard on the stems, on the thicker part of the stems like the bottom that they're getting pushed all the way through to the bottom of the slab of clay. All right, those little leaves will burn off. Smooth out those little spots there. All right, that's a nice little stamp right there. Very plant-esque, very minimal. Actually, I might use this. This is one of my daughter's um, rubber stamps that she has in just her craft kit. I'm going to do a little heart right there. A little surprise heart. I don't know. Just play around with the design. So now you're going to take a <clears throat> piece of string or a little piece of dental floss or I'm going to use this something that can bend around the object that you're going to use as a mold and you're going to measure from the start to the end how wide it is and then you're going to give yourself an extra centimeter or two because you want them to overlap so this is almost this entire length it's pretty wide I'm going to put this down here just to measure it, find where I want the middle. Just about there, so that end, and then this end right there, make my little marks. Don't forget to leave yourself a good space on the end for your bottom. Like you're, that is just enough. You see how it's just fitting on there? That's good. That'll work, and I'm gonna make my slab over at this end so I have enough. I'm gonna just cut that off and set it aside. So I have my marks made out here. This end. And this end. I'm gonna make a flat bottom where I want the bottom to be. 
and the top I'm gonna go with the lowest point on this side you can see how it has a bit of a natural bump right here this is the narrowest part so I'm okay with that uh, I'm gonna make a straight line cutting off that big bump like that doesn't have to be perfect Adding down that sharp edge, turn it over, just compress that sharp edge up at the top. All right, and now we're ready to scratch the sides. Right hand side, there, making a little Velcro scratchy spot with my at my right hand. So this is the inside, it has no stamps. Now I'm gonna make some scratches on the other side. I'm gonna flip it over. So I'm at my right hand again. The stamps are up now. So this is the opposite side and I'm gonna make the scratches right in the same spot. So they're complete opposites. I'll flip back over. This is the inside of the pot, and we get our plastic bag. Now again, this is a cut plastic bag. It's only one uh, half of the bag. I'm going to put it up and around our mold. And because I don't have anything to do with this, I'm going to twist it to keep this extra plastic up at the top. Place the bottom in the middle, flush down to the bottom of your slab of clay, not down below it like that. And you can just rest that right there in the middle as long as this isn't too heavy. We need a bit of water on our little roughed up spots. You can bring this over and put the water on it like that. So see as I curl it around the rough side's going to face to the rough side as it curls and you can just tuck that in. Use your fingers to smoosh it in. As long as there's not too much water on this seam, as long as you only put a little bit of water, the seam will stick really good. If there's too much water, you might notice you'll start to have a few little cracks where the seam is. So you take your finger and compress down if you're getting cracks there. Dry it off. Compress down. Compressing the clay always helps to heal the clay. If you have a crack, you can push it like that, compress. There. Now we're going to take the bottom and we're going to scratch this up. Make sure, I don't think this is quite big enough. You can see there's a little gap here. I'm going to roll this out one more time. It'll make it a little, a little thinner, but hopefully it'll stretch it out just enough. And actually, just in case, doesn't work. I'm going to take one of these scrap pieces. It's still wet enough. <clears throat> I'm going to layer one over the other like that. I'm just going to push them down into each other. I'm going to use my finger and pull the clay over the seam. Pull it over the other slab of clay. I'm going to do it on this side too. And I'm going to use the rolling pin. And this should give me enough clay for my base. There, you can see the seam is almost non existent. You can see a little bit at the end there, but we're not going to be using that. So, I'm going to take the bottom of your planter pot and scratch along the bottom. This is going to make it stick. Scratch 
all along. Make it look like Velcro. And then just the tiniest little bit of water. Dab, dab, dab. Make it a little sticky, not icky. <laughs> and put it right in the middle of this slab, right down. Make sure, have a look around before you set it down. Got plenty of room on all sides. Give it a little push down with your hands. Make sure it's touching the clay. And then you're going to cut a circle around here. And give yourself a couple centimeters sticking out around the base. One or two centimeters. Because you're going to roll that little lip that's sticking out up over your planter and seal that bottom onto there. We'll pull this off. This is extra clay. That gets over there. So this is the bottom. Kind of, ooh, not sticking yet. <laughs> so I didn't put enough water on it. It'll be sticking to the bottom of the work table. Just kind of peel that off a bit. I'm supporting it with your hands. I'm going to start rolling it. Roll it at a bigger angle more and more as you turn it around. Go at more of an angle until you're almost rolling it flat on the table. And stop and have a look. Make sure all of the seams are connecting. This is covering over. There's no holes, there's no gaps. Looks good. So, now this is really soft. We are actually pretty good height. I think what I'm gonna do I'm going to flip this over. If you can balance like, like this, that's great. You might want to let it set up for a couple of hours before you do this step. Um, I think this is good. And then we're going to take this out later once it's set up. But I'm going to put the feet on now and poke a hole in it and then set it aside upside down. So, I need some clay for the feet. I'm going to take this extra scrap and smoosh it together, making sure there's no air bubbles getting stuck in it. This is getting a little dry. But it should work. All right, I'm gonna make some bit of a longer foot out of this. 